Yo, what's up, guys? This is Vegeta Gaming Care. I am joined by. Hello, YouTubers and YouTubettes. This is Yoshibot. And we're playing one of Yoshibot's other games. This is Blood Rain. Uh, one of my. Well, technically, it's one of my more favorite games. But. As you can probably suspect, this is one of the more darker games that I own. Uh, also, disclaimer, there is a lot of... Boobage. Mm, not what I was looking for. No, it's... Uh, jiggle physics. Yeah, jiggle physics. So, uh, yeah. YouTube, uh, YouTube, YouTube don't get triggered. YouTube don't get triggered. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and start. Let's start with training, because I need to know my controls. Okay, control scheme. Next, select a first or third person control scheme. First person control provides the most control. It requires the use of both analog sticks. Third person controls is easier for many players. It uses the same stick to turn and run forward or backwards. Now he is absolutely blind to this game. That's, why do you think I... Actually, you know what? No, if, that, if that, that, uh, that, do, uh, that doesn't matter because you're probably going to put it in the fucking title. Mm -hmm. That... Uh, that uh, in quotation marks, blind. Uh. Okay, now that's going to be weird. Because the looking up and down is going to be on the left joystick. If it's third. That's like really, really odd. Um. The stick to first person? Yeah. Because I have no idea which one would be better. Hold on. Because the weird thing is, is that the turn is going to be on, like, the right stick, which that makes it normal, and, like, okay, so that's normal, and then the, there's the looking up and down, and then, like, turn no, left and right, that, control, that's... Uh, that is literally just control style. I know, but it's, like, saying first or third person. Why? Traditional third person le left. Left hand. with first person. Yeah. Alright. The only thing that feels Look weird... up, down style. Hold on. No, the only thing that feels weird is that I have to use the joystick when I, not the joystick, the uh, the D-pad just to do this part. Hold on. Yeah, that's what it means. It's basically inverted. Hold on. See? Uh, Look, inverted. Yeah. I know, I know. Wait, what? Go with normal first person. Wait, hold on. What? Okay, so there's th traditional third person left handed, but then there's third person with strife left handed. Strafe. Strafe. I have no idea what strafe is. Stra uh, strafe is means you're just doing this. Like. Oh. Okay. That's your strafe. Alright, let's start. Um. No worry, it's fine. Did you do, uh, did you do left handed by accident? No. I saw it. It's, it's on first it person. Page. It's on first person, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll find out. What? That makes no sense because I did not set it like that. I did not set it like that. It. Oh, okay. See? There we go. Okay. I noticed. Okay. Much better. Okay. Well, it ran automatically. Tight ropes. To avoid obstacles, you may need to jump over them. Press A to jump. Okay. I'll read. I'll read. Uh, I'll read instructions. All right. Okay. Also, I learned this the hard way. Avoid water. Ah, uh, obviously, it's vampires. Let's check. You weren't reading it. <laughs> right. Rebound kick. Basically that. There's our first jiggle physic. Currently, if it's a new door, it's red. I'd like to investigate it. Rebound kick can be used to break down weak spots and walls. So it's like... Oh, I 
to say. It's basically just like a double jump. <laughs> I'm literally trying, guys. <laughs> uh, don't you miss clunky controls? There we go. Oh, there's our second one. Perform combos by hitting the yes. Reading, <laughs> like you said, you're supposed sure. to be right. Sorry. Press left on the dump uh, on the D-pad to enter Aura Vision. Aura Vision works oh, well at night as night vision. Okay. Bite, get close to a victim and press uh, and tap B quickly. Uh, steer standing victims to use them as a human shield. Mm. Trying to get out of it. There we go. Press B. Not you just have to. You just have to tap it. You tell me. Use your aura sense. If you don't know where to go, use your aura vision and look for a bright glow. This glow is your immediate objective. Let's go down here. Let's go to the church. Kind of ironic that they're vampires and they're going to a church. Oh yeah, definitely. That it that is like that's like the most ironic thing ever. We might have to turn up the brightness in the, in editing as well. No, this is actually fine. 2017 blocks free. Wait, what? Oh. All right, we won't be cutting the uh, we won't be cutting this uh, like we did la uh, like we did the. Well, we haven't uploaded that yet, so I won't say anything. Careful with your relatives. They should have more sense. Thanks for dragging me out here. I just love the water. You're only half a vampire. A dip might hurt, but it won't kill you. I saw the signal finger in my eye. It doesn't mean I have to do it. No time for pleasantries. Just like your half-sister. I'm just confident in my abilities. So am I. But this is your first assignment for the Brimstone Society. So everything must go according to plan. What is known so far? Fine. This group is calling the people of Morton, Louisiana, a town named Sunset Martha. They're calling me Mean Streets. Doctors think a movie is going to be the Oh, okay, that one was a creepy one. There are numerous known biological markers in town. They appear to be the carriers of the condition. And that's where you come in. Destroy the sources of the infection. And as many of the infected townspeople as possible. The disease cannot spread beyond this village. So as a radical cure, Doctor, then you'll be doing them a favor. In the final stages, their brains liquefy and run out their nose and ears. Kind of cold. She's not wrong. <laughs> hey, at least the, this game, at least the geological physics and. Let's check inside. Hmm, it's 
seems like somebody made their last stand here. Grab some guns if you want. Okay, as I was going to say before I was interrupted. At least this game's jiggle physics are not as bad as Mortal Kombat 9's. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Before you enter the church, I just want to say that this game is kind of, uh, it's, for the beginning, it's kind of dialogue heavy. Throughout the game, it's mostly just uh, Rain talking to herself. So we'll try. Uh, we'll try to remain quiet throughout dialogue areas. No promises. But no we'll promises, try. but yeah. Good thing we're not hypersensitive to holy items like some vampires. Okay, that would make sense. You should be all set. Okay, so that would make sense. I want to grab that. I know. Uh, I know what. Okay, so it makes sense why they went to a church. Also, look to the window. I just noticed that the uh, that the things in the windows are, are basically just the logo of the game. Yeah. But you know what? It makes sense because you want to know why. Why? They're not hyperactive against holy items like. Re some vampires are. Yeah. How do I shoot? I think you just hold it. Also, um, as any stereotypical vampire game, uh, bite, uh, Biting into your victims actually heal you. Oh, uh, ain't that? No, that's the entire That's point. common knowledge. Yeah. That wall stretches across the whole town. They're six feet high. I can see that. So, from what I understood, even the earliest French settlers feared something. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. I'm going to see what else I can find in its books. You should take out those biomasses. The first one's in the graveyard. I'll meet up with you later. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright. Go back to. Uh, I know. I gotta get off no, here. Go back to the bodies and see, uh, see if you don't need anything off of them. If anything, it's probably guns. I also recommend healing at a cup. I don't know. The last thing I wanted to hear was uh, was her moaning and slurping. Oh, well, vampires! A lot of vampires do that. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get up on here. There we go. So. What was this game based on, actually? actually? Save game. So I'm assuming this is... 
this is base Shit. some I fell in the water. So I'm assuming this game is based somewhere in the nineteen thirties. Hmm. Makes sense. Probably wouldn't make sense if I had a disease. Yeah. Now, the way I play this game is that I don't even slice and dice or even shoot my victims. I uh, I always go for the bite, no matter what. I just con I just <laughs> I just continuously go uh, go up to my enemies and just like bite, bite, bite. That's all I do. Then again, it's not very um. It's not advisable, to say the least. But it's how I did it. Oh yeah. You have a compass on your uh Yeah, I know. Yeah. I see it. Here for a while longer. Okay, okay. Send them here to farm me up to me, my If you find anyone that is healthy and alive, send them here. 
But don't forget about the nests. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. Maybe. Maybe this time around, things got worse. These creatures are very insect-like. Seems every 30 years, they swarm. I almost forgot. I have something for you. a harpoon. It helps with feeding and has a decent range. Thanks. I'll protect the mausoleum. You go find those nests. I sketched out a map of approximate locations. The reports weren't exact, so you'll have to search the area thoroughly. Once you're back, we'll head over that wall. There must be some type of source where all these creatures come. Okay. Well, I think it's probably a good time to end the episode right now. Uh, so, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Blood Rain. Blood Rain. Uh, so, thank you all so much for watching. This is Vegeta Game Cure. And this has been Yoshibot uh, no longer Scraggleface because I shaved. Oh uh, yeah, which you'll see because we're actually working on a video project. We're, we're, we're just looking. We're just working on something. We're working on something right now, a little project, which we hope to post sometime soon. Actually, maybe, maybe. So, all right, bye.